Islam itself has never considered that there is any real contradiction between science and religion. The late Professor Ismail Faruqi was a highly respected authority on Islamic studies. To be a Muslim is to be a scientist because you cannot be a Muslim if you, if you, uh, uh, if you do not fulfill the terms of the Khilafah. And the terms of the Khilafah are that you deal with nature, that you transform nature. Nature within you and nature in your human and other human beings and nature outside, the trees, the mountains, the rivers and everything. The whole of creation. So you've got to study nature in order to know its laws, its secrets as it were, in order to deal with it and transform it. Also, another reason, nature is the creation of God and God subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has planted in nature his sunan, his patterns and therefore to discover the patterns of nature is to discover the sunan of Allah and therefore to glorify Allah and so there are these two reasons why every Muslim must be a scientist and this is why the Muslims have done wonders in science Therefore, the Muslim goes to nature not because nature is an enemy, like for instance the Greeks did. Uh, the Muslim goes to study nature not because there is a jinni in nature which he is trying to master or to subdue, not at all. Uh, the Muslim goes to nature because nature is a gift from Allah, which Allah has made musakhar, that is to say subservient to man in order that man may live and may fulfill the commandments of Allah.